Hi, I'm Jenna with Chief Architect. In this video, I'm going to show the new 3D rendering features. We've added new physically based rendering. Think ray trace without the weight. The new rendering greatly improves how materials look, such as stainless steel. Let me begin with this new feature. A new physically based rendering technique is available in addition to the other rendering techniques. This new physically based rendering is similar to ray trace rendering without the weight. To achieve the best possible rendering using this new high-resolution render, you'll want to place and create your lighting model. Notice in this scene, the countertop reflection, flooring, and materials, like stainless steel, look significantly better with the physically based rendering. Saved camera views now include unique backdrops. If you want to have a different backdrop for the front and rear of the house, you can make that assignment in the backdrop setting for the camera. New default settings are available for each camera type. One of the new default settings includes the ability to assign cameras to a specific layer. For example, you might place your perspective cameras on a specific layer and elevation and section cameras on different layers. You can group select and edit multiple cameras simultaneously. Notice the number of maximum lights used by the camera can be adjusted. Previously, Eight lights was a limit, and now you can define as many as you need. Of course, more lights will make your render slower. In the Vector View camera, you will find a setting to display a shading contrast. And, for all the render techniques, a new setting to control the backdrop display. Light sources display in a standard camera view to indicate where the actual light source is positioned in relation to the light fixtures. You can now display these light source indicators in other render techniques, such as vector view or glass house. All lighting now uses lumens as the universal light intensity setting to better accommodate new lighting such as LED. Lighting management has been improved in Chief Architect X10 with a new Adjust Lights dialog. You should find managing your lighting is much more intuitive and easier to control. Through this new dialog, you can sort lights by column, turn lights on and off, change the color, and group select to make further refinements. You can create lighting sets for specific groups of lights for lighting scenes. These light sets can then be saved with specific cameras, making it easy to quickly adjust your lighting. Chief Architect X10 now supports virtual reality headsets available from HTC Vive and Oculus Rift. With the VR headset, you can view perspective renders. The system can be set up to display a normal view on screen, allowing others to see what's in the VR headset. There are several great new features added to Chief Architect X10 that you can expect to see in early 2018. And remember, all new software purchases include free upgrades for the first year. So if you're not currently a customer, Get started today with Chief Architect.